So I know my last video on the boy child and the amazing 16A from KCSC was probably a tough one to swallow. For those who deal with reality, it wasn't that hard. It was just like, ah. But I do want to talk to the girls. And I don't know how to say this nicely. It's just, you can't catch a break because the world won't let you catch a break. You live in a world where women have come a long way and they've held their ground. We'll start with here at home. Whether it is Margaret Kenyatta, say what you want. That chick kicks major butt at 50 something, okay? And when you look around the world, let's just talk about power. Whether you are looking at the head of the IMF, Christian Lagarde, whether you're looking at Janet Yellen, who's head of the Central Reserve in the US, and I do believe if you check um, the lady in charge of the Central Bank in Russia, it's also a woman, um, the narrative for women and young girls is very different. It's very different. You actually can't catch a break. I mean, when you, you look at Michelle Obama, you know, poised and smart and articulate. Um, and here's the other one we have to deal with, uh, Ivanka Trump. Ivanka is going to be interesting to watch in the next couple of years. Forget her father, watch her. And I say this, and I know somebody will say, dear God, no. If she ever runs for president, she could be the first female president of the U.S. Watch her. She's smart, she's poised, and she really doesn't get rattled by much. She's very interesting. But um, back to Kenya. In the world of uh, Kina Michelle of Marini Naturals and God knows what else is going on in the world, as a young female, you are not getting cut any slack at all. And we're actually lucky maybe Hillary didn't become president because now even the guys will be there saying, Madam, what are you doing? Your sisters are running countries and you're here making noises about your weave. And the pressure, and it's a good pressure on young women, is this. Given what the world looks like, given what Amina Mohammed and other people like that are doing, if you look at the, at the narrative around women, and remember I spoke about the narrative around men, the narrative around women does not allow young women and young girls to be anything but awesome, okay? Because at some point, it doesn't matter how much you're like, now I want to express myself, you'll be told, put away your boobs. People are running countries here. They're going for the AU. They're sitting in the Supreme Court and apa kwapa not to anisha your matitis. And it's true. A young female can't catch a break and it's a good thing. But on the flip side, a young man can't catch a break and it's a bad thing. Because all his icons, all his shining lights are gangsters, thieves, thugs, people who haven't earned anything by their own right. And I can understand that there's a lot of young men who feel disenfranchised, disillusioned, and also angry. And when they're angry, you can see it on Twitter. They lash out at women. We're not the problem. We're not the problem. The people who should actually be painting a picture of greatness for you have failed you. And you need to start holding them to account and asking them to raise the bar again. Okay? Thank you. Subscribe, pretty please. Thank you.